Hello, Jake here, and today I'm showing off what I've been working on for the past few months, which is a feather plugin I'm making in Houdini, because all the feather plugins I've tried aren't actually that great, so I decided just to start making my own. And this is just a little tech demo. So what I got set up is just a basic guide groom on a sphere, and then Here's how it's going to work. So you got the data node, which has all the inputs to generate the feather. And then here's a just standalone generator node. So this is what I got set up. So you got the basics, like how many barbs there will be. Uh, length, what you can have symmetry or not. Uh, and then it's all ramps and stuff just normal most feather generators have that by most I mean pretty sure all of them then you got the basic rotation and bending and this can also be mirrored if you want got X and X and Z I'm pretty sure it's Z in Houdini but X and or Y and Z, I don't know who knows. Then we got some uh, noise functions. We got a wave, which is quite good. I like this one, but just adds a wave to the edge. Just basic noise wave. And if you look at a picture of a feather, most feathers have something like this, where the edges are just a bit wavy, and that helps break up the silhouette and the shading. So that's good. We got a clumping, which is probability, and a scale, so it's pretty basic stuff. Then we got uh, the down, which I decided to just make easy as possible. You just region where it starts and then the scale. So how much of it. So for a feather like this, pretty much none. And then uh, offset if you want, but you don't really need to use that. So then once you got that done, you just have the data. And then I have a custom node I made that can will take the data and paint it on a mesh. So let's just you just paint on all the data to generate that feather. And then each feather you can assign a color for the group the feather group will be in. So then we can do another feather. And this one I've made blue. And this one is more of a basic body feather. These only take like a few minutes to make. Just because of how simple the user controls are. And then that one's painted on the other half. And then it gets scattered on all the, just have a guide input and a mesh input. It's scattered on the mesh. And that would be a, what a normal feather system would do. But since mine is special, you can blur the data Ooh, look at that. And that's why you can see the group colors are mixed, and that also represents the data to generate the feathers is mixed. So you have a smooth transition between a body feather and a flight feather. And every the noise offset is randomly generated for every feather. So every feather is unique. And that's what I got so far. Still have quite a bit of work to do, but the basics are there. And then you might be wondering what's the performance like on something like this, because it's probably way too slow to be practical, but I guess that depends on your computer and how fast you want it to be. But here's my groom setup for my griffin, 
which is about 8,000 strands. So we can just plug that right in and just see how long that takes. And we'll just pull up. It's kind of multi-threaded. Not really, but kind of. Whatever. Houdini just kind of does, does its thing. And done. But I still have yet to set up the orientation and stuff, but that's for a future video. But you can see all the feathers are generated. All 8,000 of them. Of course, this isn't, the skin isn't set up, so this isn't, this is just to demonstrate how fast it is, which I'd say that was pretty fast. Surprisingly faster than, it might even be faster than Yeti. I'd have to check that actually. That'd be a fun test. Yep. I also have a bunch of other cool features that will be unique to this that I will show off later when it's when they're ready. But this is already a few cool ones. Let me just show that again. Wonderful.